This video is exactly what the title says. My first impressions of Remember the Name is that the song is solid and moves away from how we've seen Eminem attack tracks recently and based on context, Eminem's choice here was perfect. And finally, we get a song that we can also hear on the radio with Eminem and 50 Cent after all these years, especially with 50 Cent in it. For those who don't know, songs on Eminem's Kamikaze album even got less radio play than his previous albums since the songs weren't exactly radio friendly, like say Revo for instance from Revival that topped the UK singles chart. And ever since Kamikaze dropped, Eminem has mostly featured in songs that I won't consider radio friendly and I'm glad we have a new track that I expect will get a lot of attention from the radio, especially in the UK if Remember the Name is released as a single. I've been playing the song on repeat since morning and I'm yet to listen to the entire album, which is something I intend to do after at least a day of playing Remember the Name on repeat as I can't get enough especially since the song is just 3 minutes 27 seconds long. Even the length of the song is perfect for radio and now we hope it's released as a single. A quality music video will seal the deal and I can see it is charting in the top 5 in many countries around the world with a quality video for weeks. What I also notice is that when Eminem slows it down, he sounds like his early years like 2002 for instance, which is how I think he sounded on this track and I love the fact that Eminem can go back and forth at will and modify his sound and on this, slowing it down was the solid choice. However, I've come across comments on social media that seem to think Eminem has to attack the beat on every song even when he has no reason to in this song that appears on an Ed Sheeran album for God's sake. It's like they expect homicide level technicality in a song like this which wouldn't fit here in my opinion. People will act like Eminem must drop a verse like the Chloroseptic remix verse even if it's on a song that is supposed to be more radio friendly. I don't get people that think that way, like what reason does he have to go in angry on a song that appears on Ed Sheeran's album, doesn't make sense. But that hasn't stopped the haters from slipping in comments on the positive posts about the song so far on social media. Some even went as far as dissing the song even before the song released officially because of the leaks and I'm here wondering what's going on with people. Other rappers appear on the album doing their thing but nope, we just gotta take this as another opportunity to pick on Eminem for no valid reason. Like for real, did you go in expecting to hear a verse like the one in the Chloroseptic remix? If that's what you were expecting, you need to put your expectations in check and you have only yourself to blame for your own unrealistic expectations. At this point, especially for the younger Eminem haters, the only thing that they will love is if Eminem begins to sound like Post Malone with autotune since that's the kind of hip hop music they are used to but if you're like that then Eminem's music is not for you, walk away with your opinions because you're not the target audience. So leave your thoughts below in the comments section and I'll be reading them while I listen to remember the name on repeat. Subscribe if you haven't and see you on the next one.